Hey everybody, it's Jordan, your average Joe, and today we are testing drugstore makeup. We're just waiting for my cat to finish throwing up. Okay, I don't know about you guys, but I am a drugstore girl at heart. I have some nice makeup, but you know, when stuff's only like two or three dollars, you always kind of wonder, is it worth the price or is like, is it worth paying a little bit more for better quality? And that's what I want to try today because honestly, for years, when I first started doing makeup, I shopped at Dollar Tree and, you know, I could be looking at this through like the rose colored lenses or whatever. And I don't remember the makeup being too bad, but you know, there's infinitely more options of drugstore makeup now and I want to give a few of them a try. So if that sounds interesting to you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and click that bell icon to be notified every time I post a video. I upload every single Friday so you can look for me next week. And anyway, let's get on with this video. Okay, so we're going to start by getting my hair clipped back. I'm all fancy like that. But you know, using the same clips from Marshalls because that's all I do. All right. But I've been just seeing so much makeup on the market. I mean, it's, we all know it's oversaturated, honestly. I mean, I think even if you're not, you know, super invested in the beauty world, you know that there's a lot of makeup available to consumers and it's all tempting. It's just, you know, you see the stuff, you always want to try it out and it's, <laughs> I just do that leave my hair there you always want to try it out so that's what we're going to do today I've got you know there are a few pieces I think just one that I did not find I wanted to try the butter bronzer the physician physicians huh, physicians formula butter bronzer but I couldn't find a shade that would kind of match my face so I think my bronzer is the only thing that I don't have that's drugstore and new to me so I do have a couple primers to try. I don't know which one I wanted to test out. I did get most of this. It's between Walmart and Five Below. If you're not familiar with Five Below, it's just the store where everything's $5 or less. Although I think some of them are starting to do like 10 and below, but whatever. So I've got the this Hard Candy Longwear Primer we can try or this LA Colors Face Primer. And if I'm going to be honest, I sort of want to try the hard candy one because I guess let's see. Let's see what it feels like. Oh, she's a weird color. That's kind of gross. It's like, <laughs> ew, it looks like a fungus. All right. Oh, it's tacky though. It did feel smoothing a little bit. I mean, you can see. And yeah feels a little weird. All right. Well, that is the long wear primer. Let's see how that holds up. I honestly, the best judge of it probably would have been using foundation that I already have, but I wanted to, you know, go all out. So I do have an elf foundation that I really like that is drugstore, but I wanted to try something different. So I got the wet and wild photo focus foundation. I cannot promise it will be my shade because I don't know how to shade match honestly I just know that I have cool undertones I get red in the sun I get a little crispy like the gum anyway this is the color shell ivory oh that's weird it's a spatula can you see that okay guess we're gonna just <laughs> just rub this all oh that's so wet it's so liquidy shell that's what she said <laughs> This is a Moda brush from Walmart. It's a foundation brush, so that's technically drugstore. Let's try. Okay, so she just. Hmm. She just blended away into nothing. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, do you see that? Like. Can you even tell I put foundation on this side, honestly? Because it looks like there's nothing. Oh, ew. It's a corifer. I constantly have cat fur 
all over me. Okay, so how are y'all doing? Like, how's the beginning of your February going? Mine seems, you know, it's fine. My son's finishing up OT, so that's pretty cool. And I am about finished with The Queen's Gambit on Netflix, which is amazing. And this, okay. Okay, this, mm, I can't tell if it's the foundation brush or the foundation that's streaky. I'm going to try to fix this. Oh, girl, she's streaky the house. Get arrested for this streaking. Oh my god. Okay, I don't know. Oh, okay, that's helping a lot more, actually. Okay, so what do you think? It's not super full coverage. This is definitely like a... This is light. I feel like you could probably build it up. Yeah, oh. <laughs> Shake well before use. Whoops, that may have affected it a little bit. So that's for normal to dry skin. Well, probably should have read that too because I have combo skin that's kind of oily. All right, well, we'll give this a shot. Let her do her thing. I'm going to put that brush away. I also have from Wet n Wild the Photo Focus Concealer. See that? That's the right way. There we go. This is also in the shade something fair beige again i don't know if it's gonna be the right color for me but if you can't tell i do have dark circles because i have a toddler that is not sleeping also i have severe ins i have severe insomnia and i lie awake at night thinking about all the mistakes i've ever made in my life good time okay this is really kind of yellow honestly but I have a pimple here, and a pimple here, and a pimple there. I just have so much stress acne right now. It's a great time. I feel like I'm in high school again. Oh, look at her. This is scary. Go back in with that brush, actually. Um, I'm definitely going to have to use my blender after this. But we'll see. Okay, let's see. She's blending out pretty nicely. I th think on first impressions, I might like the concealer more than the foundation, but hmm. she's a little pasty, but I don't think it looks bad, actually. I normally use a look at the side of my nose. God, who do I think I am? What do you think? I don't think it looks too bad. All right, so we're going to try some setting powder. I have also from that Moda brushes, just a loose fluffy brush. Isn't this cute? It's like unicorns or something or weapons to stay up. I am trying the Maybelline Fit Me loose powder. I honestly have heard nothing but good things about this powder. I feel like. Everybody under the sun constantly says it's a dupe for Laura Mercier, which is my current setting powder. I love that setting powder. We're going to just pick some up on my brush. I feel like I can do more than that. And we're just going to... Oh, I just got it in my... Oh, my God. Look at that. I got it in my eye. Don't do that. Honestly, I don't mind this powder. It feels pretty good. I just breathed it in and got it in my eyeball, though. But, you know, aside from that, it looks pretty good. Anyway, so I've got my bronzer. It is the Park Ave Princess Bronzer from Tarte. I'm going to do that really quickly with that same fluffy brush. Just, you know. Just to get this out of the way, I will come back when this is done, okay? All right, so we're back. Looking a little bit snatched. Okay, so for blush and highlight, I actually have something new. It is called the Hello Halo Blush Lighter from Wet n Wild. 
and I hope that this can be fun. It's a blush and highlighter duo. Question is, do I mix them together or try to do them separately? I guess we'll try to do them separately at first. Let's try the blush side first. Ooh, she's um, very, there's a lot of fallout. I'm just going right on the apples of my cheeks. And do you see anything that's not just shimmer? Okay, am I doing this wrong? I don't think I am. <sighs> Let's try clean my fluffy brush okay clean her and we're just gonna try to go to both okay we're gonna see that's a lot of highlight you see that bam but not really like any blush Okay, well, we're going to do this other side. Just like, Jesus Christ, even this thing out. I look like a disco ball. I mean, that's cute if that's your vibe, but like, I'm, like, look, there is pink on here. Theoretically says it's blush, right? But it's just not. Okay. So the highlight itself, honestly, so pretty. I do like that. Like, look. However, I want blush still. We're just going to go in with my Lunar Beauty blush palette. And we're just going to use blush from there. Because honestly, this is missing something. Oh, see? Look at that. Like, that's so much healthier. It looks so much better. The highlight's still there, but there's just some color, which we just needed bad. How do we look? Oh, girl. Mm -hmm. See, I feel so good. I'm going to set my face real quick with, again, Wet n' Wild. This video is sponsored by Wet n' Wild. Just kidding. It's sponsored by me because I bought all this stuff. So, yeah. We're going to set my face real quick. This, okay. This stuff I have used before. This was my go-to setting spray when I was in high school and didn't really know how setting spray work. And I just spritzed it everywhere after like every step, mascara's running, eyeshadow smudging, honey, it was a look. But we're going to spritz and set the face products before we get onto the eyes and other stuff, okay? That smells a lot more like hairspray than I remember. I hope that's safe to ingest because I've just inhaled so much. Hi. Can get your butt off my stuff? Can you see? She's in the frame. I know she kind of hates me, but I love her so much, so I don't care. All right, so I'm going to actually do eyebrows next. So I have a brow product. This will be the big deal for me because brows are kind of the thing that I'm very picky about. I have my set, like, three brow products that I use. And so I'm afraid to try anything new. <laughs> but I have, again, Wet n' Wild Brow Sessive Brow Sculpting Gel in the shade Blonde. So let's try her. See how we feel. Okay, the wand looks very similar to the Benefit one. But let's... Try her out. I'm just brushing up to give myself a nice fluffy brow. All right. That's not too bad. It's a little wonky here because, you know, I messed up my own eyebrows years ago. But, like, that's honestly not bad. I think I'm going to do the other eyebrow. That's not a treat. That's not a treat. No, that, that's a brow product. Oh my God. You are just wheezing constantly. I mean, I have asthma and I don't even wheeze that much. 
Why do you just look like you're judging people all the time? You're so sweet. It's so annoying. Okay, so Cora's just right here. There I go. Okay, I shoved her to the side. So I have some eyeshadow products to try, but first, before we do that, I'm gonna use this Morphe brush to go ahead and set my lids with some concealer because I didn't see any eyeshadow primers that I wanted to try. So I'm gonna just set with concealer and hope that's fine. So anyway, February, right? <laughs> just bringing it back to what I tried to talk about earlier and I forgot about. Um, so I'm pretty excited because February 12th, the last To All the Boys I Love Before movie comes out. And let me tell you, my cousin and I are such Peter Kavinsky stands. Like, oh my God. So excited for that movie. Been literally waiting for that movie since the last one came out. And there's not a ton in life that really gives me joy anymore because, you know, Depression and COVID-19, but that's one of the things that gets me excited. Okay, so my concealer is on, and let's try this. So I've got a couple eyeshadow palettes. They're very, all very rosy. Doesn't really match what I'm wearing today, but it's okay. I've got this LA Colors Rose palette. Which I think is very pretty. But this one's got like highlight and stuff in it. So that's kind of interesting. I'm not usually a big fan of face palettes like this. Just because I don't feel like you can get the stuff mixed very well. I've also got one of those little bite size eyeshadow quads from e.l.f. There you go. Also in rosy. It's the Berry Bad set. I've swatched this just to see. And I think it's beautiful. So there's that, and we also have Wet n Wild Color Icon Palette, the 10 Pan Palette. Looks like this. Again, I will say they all seem intriguing to me. I did get this Rose Palette to try, but I'll be honest, it's the least appealing to me. So I think I'm going to stick with the Wet n Wild and the Elf shadows. Also, their packaging is very similar, just like. One's bigger, one's little, you know? So we're gonna try that. Let me get a nice fluffy brush. Oh my God. Are these not the prettiest brushes, by the way? Like, side note, I got them from Amazon and I think they're beautiful. So we're gonna go in with, on the wet and wild side, just this nice little, like, this very, pale shade right here we're gonna try to set my eyelids with it it's not bad actually it's not bad at all the fallout though there's a lot of fallout I'm just gonna say it but you know you can't expect Outback Steakhouse from McDonald's pricing you know I will say pigment is so nice on this one so this shade it's lovely. I like it for setting my eyeballs. I think the shade I'm most intrigued about in the e.l.f. palette is I want to use one of these two little shimmery shades in the middle. So I'm going to try to build, I think I'm going to build like a, maybe a coppery look. That could kind of go well with my grandpa sweater. Like Glam Neil from Santa Claus. Maybe. So we're going to start with a nice little peachy shade right now. This little peachy shade. Peachy shade. Peach. And we're going to start on the outside. It's a little light for like an outer corner shade, but... You know, it's okay. Blending, blending, blending all the fade away. Okay, so we've got that. And I like to always bring it down just a little bit underneath here. Because I... I don't do eyeliner. I just don't. I want to learn to do eyeliner. I have eyeliner. It just terrifies me. So I don't do it. So I try to compensate by using um, 
eyeshadow. That's the word. Literally forgot what I was talking about. Look at the booty guru. Um, uh, oh my god, I keep moving my contacts. Just cross. Okay. So we're going to go on the outer corner on this side. All right. So for we're going to go ahead and try. I'm going to leave the wet and wild one. Oh, but that's a brush. Stop it. And I have a makeup wipe ready to go. That brush is clean. We're going to try this like coppery shade from the e.l.f. palette. She swatches really nicely, you know. We're just going to put that right here. Oh, that's better. Okay, we're going to do the other side and then we'll finish the inside and blend it all, you know. All right, everybody, are you ready? Let's see what this looks like. Ta-da! Okay, so. Anyway. No, ow! Ow! Okay, so we're getting close to the end. I believe we just have lips and mascara left, okay? So the mascara I really love to use is Wander Beauty, the Mile High Club, really thin. I love the wand on that. I found this Wet n Wild Max Volume Plus mascara, and we're going to try her out, see if I like this. Oh, that's a sound. Okay, this is the one. Oh, I like the shape of the one. Okay. We're going to try her out and see what we think. I'm going to get real close to the mirror. And then, you know, I apologize for not talking. Okay. On first application, what do you think? Ignore the fact that this eyeball's got some weird stuff going on. I think it's really pretty. I will say it is wet, though. This smudged on the bottom line, like the bottom lashes, so bad. But we can make do with it. I'm going to do the other one and see what we can work with here. Okay, so this is the, that. What do you think? I don't think it looks too bad. Also, with my eyeballs, I don't really do eyeliner and I don't do false lashes. Although I'm intrigued about the false lashes because I saw... There's magnetic ones that I want to try that are supposed to be, like, dummy proof. And I'm a bit of one of those, so. Alright, four lip products. I don't know if most people would consider this drugstore. Okay, because I, I said I got most of the stuff from Walmart. I did get some of this from Target and some from Ulta, actually. But they're from, like, the drugstore section, so I guess I would consider it. I have some ColourPop lip products to try. And the lip primer, which I like this lip primer. I've used it before, and I have used their lip liner before. So I've got those to try. And I've got two different shades we can test out. I don't know which one we're going to end up sticking with. but And I also have a gloss if I go with the matte lipstick from their Frozen collection. Because I love Frozen. I'm not going to pretend I don't. But let's try this. Okay, so I'm going to come back because I am mediocre at doing lips i just this year started doing my lips <laughs> and what a year to do it i'm wearing a mask all the time what does it matter huh so smart genius 10 points for me but i'm, <laughs> I'm gonna try lining my lips with the ColourPop lippy pencil in the shade bumble she's there she's so pretty and so basic i'm gonna line my lips with that first and then we I lied. I am such a liar. I'm so quirky. Psh, forget what I'm doing. I'm going to prime first with the ColourPop Lippy, Prime, Lippy Stick Primer. This stuff is really good. I actually think this is very similar to the um, MAC Prep and Prime. Which I do like, but kind of is kind of expensive. And so I thought this was worth a shot. I'm, I don't mind it. It feels like a lip primer, which is very essential where I live. I live in the Midwest. If you don't prime your lips, it's a crime to your lips, you know? All right, let's set everything and give some final thoughts, okay? Oh my God, I gotta get this makeup off my mat. Oh, my contact. Okay, that still smells like hairspray. Ooh. All right, let's get my hair down. Unclip. Unclip. All right.
right, so that is the final look. Um, what does everybody think? I know my lips look a little weird, but that's just because my lips are a weird shape. And putting anything on them kind of highlights that, which is why I didn't put stuff on them for years and started doing it now. So, I will say I had a couple favorite items. I loved, loved these eyeshadow palettes. I think they are so worth the money. And I really liked the Fit Me Loose powder. I thought that was great. And honestly, the highlighter part from the, um, the highlighter part from the blush lighter, this one, this together as a highlighter, I love it. Like, look, still, I mean, come on. It looks so good, so nice. And actually surprising, I, I know I said I loved those eyeshadows. I think the real hit here for me was the brow gel. Don't mind if this is a jump cut because I just got lipstick, lip gloss in my hair. I sneezed. It was not a good time. All right. I gotta get this makeup off. My eyeball is, look at her. Oh my God. She is I've seen better days, honey. So I will see you all next week. I hope you are having a great day. Bye. I'll see you then.